Welcome back to The Lost Games. Today we will talk about Parasite Eve, which was an absolute gem from the past, and we'll talk about what happened to the series, or better yet, if we will ever see another game released. Now, Parasite Eve is a role-playing horror game released in 1998 for the PlayStation, and it was similar to that of Resident Evil. It was published and developed by Squaresoft, which is now Square Enix. It was another one of those Squaresoft hits in a time where it was starting to feel like Squaresoft could do no wrong. It was also the first M-rated game that Squaresoft had released. Parasite Eve started out as a novel written by Hideaki Senna. The funny thing is, the author had nothing to do with the game as this was an unauthorized sequel to the novel. This is a story of a New York City rookie police officer named Aya Brea who is on a mission to stop Eve. Eve is a woman who wants to destroy the human race. It is a interesting game with an even more interesting story as this all takes place over a six day span in New York City, 1997. Now, each day has a specific title related to the events of the game. The game starts with the main character Aya out on a date at the opera when the horror begins as the audience starts combusting into fire. You later learn that a mutation had awakened and began taking control of humanity. As Parasite Eve is a Square Solve Square Enix game, it does have a lot of RPG elements. The battles in the game are encountered randomly via hotspots. You'll then hear a sound of a heartbeat and then the screen flashes and turns black and white. You are then bound to the invisible barriers until you defeat all enemies or hit the escape command. You can attack with an equipped weapon or use parasite energy for a number of things. If you complete the game, you will then get the X game option, which is basically a new game plus that gives you a lot of bonuses when you start a new game, like access to every item. Parasite Eve was a game that was well received and the soundtrack was praised, making it a wonderful experience all around. Even if some of the aspects did not age well, like the low resolutions and rendered backgrounds. Not even a full year later, the sequel Parasite Eve 2 was released in 1999, again releasing for the PlayStation and still with Squaresoft. Parasite Eve 2 is set three years after the events of the first game and Aya makes her return and this time she discovers a conspiracy to replace humans. This time around the combat gameplay was different as the battles were now in real time and also in open areas. This sequel received some positive reviews but it was also criticized heavily for many things. Some critics stated that it was outdated with clumsy controls and there were also confusing puzzles, the lack of significant voice acting and again, the resolution. Here's an interesting fact about this game. There was a conspiracy that the game and Squaresoft were secretly funded by the Coca-Cola company as the game contains Coca-Cola advertisements. And last but not least, we have Parasite E3, the third birthday. This game was released in 2010 for the PlayStation Portable, otherwise known as the PSP. This was a collaboration between Square Enix and Hexadrive. Hexadrive are the developers that help with games like Res 3D or Okami HD. But this time, it was a third-person shooter with more focus on action. 
third birthday is set in a monster-infested post-apocalyptic New York City in which aliens called Twisted have been killing humanity. After completing each mission, the main character is given a grade based on the performance of that mission. Depending on that score, you earn battle points which will allow you to upgrade your weapons and skills. Damaging twisted enemies will fill up a bar called Liberation. You can then use Liberate which will allow you to deal higher damage and can also result in an overdive kill. Another great feature was the outfits that you can unlock. Unlocking different outfits help you in the game by providing better speed, defense, and damage. But, speaking of clothing, the game also received mixed reviews about Aya's clothes as they can tear off during battle, revealing her skin, making her half naked. See, the thing is, some critics feel that they did not like the way she was made into a sex symbol with examples of a graphic shower scene where Aya makes moaning sounds, or the fact that you can unlock a secret 3D camera which constantly zooms in and puts major focus on her ass. I know some of the freaks out there were wondering how this is unlocked, so the player must beat the game 50 times and unlock the shower scene in the video log. You must then watch that video 10 times in a row. My question is, who watched this 10 times in a row before finding this easter egg? Listen, people criticize games for sexuality but they must remember that the game has an M for mature rating and games like Tomb Raider have become successful with a female sex symbol character and also sex sells. Interesting fact, Third Birthday was originally being developed for mobile phones but was later changed to the PlayStation Portable which was a better choice as it allowed for better controls and graphics. A second version of the game Twisted Edition was also released but with no game content differences. So you're probably wondering what happened with the series. Unfortunately, Third Birthday was received with mixed reviews but the comments heavily led to the series being on hold since. And even with all these elements, critics called the game hot garbage and that it should have never been released. Some even went as far to say that Third Birthday essentially killed the entire franchise. Other issues were targeted at the over energy system being too confusing or how some unlockables require you to beat the game several times. The storyline was also hit hard by even game trailers who said that explaining the story is like explaining string theory to a two year old. Oof, rough. There are also plot holes that were left unexplained. Some fans felt that the third birthday could have had a second or other release on a different platform like perhaps PC or gaming consoles at that time. This would allow them to expand the game and features, which I can agree with, but that does not mean that this was a bad game. I personally feel like there are a lot of critics that completely destroy games for no reason sometimes. And although some of these issues are valid, it does not mean that a game cannot be overall enjoyable. But needless to say, this could be a major reason why we have not seen another game since the third birthday. There are no real details as to why it has not received a remake or remaster. But in 2015, the director Hajime Tabata stated that there are no plans on doing a remaster due to a lack of demands from the fans. He also mentioned that if they did work on a Parasite Eve project, it would have to be a remake rather than a remaster. Either way, Parasite Eve is a Square Enix game that can easily be remastered and re-released or even ported to the PC on Steam. They have already done this with games like Final Fantasy Type-0, which was also a PlayStation Portable original game. I'm also not sure how the game has never seen a sequel, as there are still many fans that wish to see this series revived. That is all the info that we have, but please let us know what you think about this lost series. Did you ever play these games? Do you wish for this series to be revived? 
Let us know your thoughts and leave a comment. And make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this on Game Circle TV. And yes, we may have lost these games, but they will never be lost in our hearts as they have shaped who we've become with the memories that we keep. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.